Hey, I'm Josh. And I'm Allison. And we're The Camera Project. And this is our new feature called Beer in a Shot, where Josh and I are going to drink a beer <laughs> and then have a photo challenge presented to us by missing member Jay. All right, let's see what Jay has in store for us. Josh, Allison, as the challenge master, it is my responsibility to give you this week's challenge. You have one hour to complete the challenge, which is disappearing. You have no other restrictions. Good luck. Oh boy. Wow. That's I don't know what to make of that. Yeah, not what I was expecting, but very cool. It could mean anything. I mean, you thought he was just gonna tell us to shoot without our pants on. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure you don't know what you're doing. I'm definitely <laughs> gonna be the loser here. I don't have any confidence. <laughs> I'm very scared. I'm just gonna take a nap for an hour. Can someone uh, clap for us? No, no one can no clap. No one has hands. We're in the lobby. We're about to go out and we're gonna set our timers for one hour starting three, two, one, now. All right, let's go. go. All right, Teams. let's go this way. Come on. Come on, put down the camera. Let's just go. All right, our mission is to destroy Josh. Whether physically or with photos. Doesn't matter. Let's do a quick Brian Park. Uh, let's go. I'm hoping to get inspired by something because I only have a few ideas and I'm not sure if they're that original. So we'll see what happens. Ooh, just had an idea, okay. I like creeping on the Red Flame Diner. Okay. People eating food, that's kind of like disappearing, isn't it? Disappearing that burger! So, um, my first idea is to do a long shutter speed so I could have some static elements in the scene, but some moving elements that in turn disappear. So I'm gonna set up my frame and then I'm gonna figure out what those elements are. I don't have a tripod, so I'm kind of looking for something to rest on. I feel at a little bit of a loss because street is Josh's forte. Let's try one second. I feel like a creep doing this regularly. I feel like more of a creep with you following me. <laughs> and uh, everybody's looking. <laughs> um, I have my static elements. The person, you could kind of see an outline of their feet, which I like. I almost want to see more of the person, so I'm gonna go for an even shorter exposure time. Oh, I like that one. I think that was good. That was good. Okay, let's move on. Yeah, I like that. All right, let's move on. Okay, so we're gonna try, we're trying to do a long exposure here to get this, I think to get just kind of like the trace of people without seeing them actually. That's cool. That kind of worked. All right, so we found a willing participant here to be our model and we're gonna try to do something where we do a long exposure and we're gonna do a little bit of flash from behind with a really long exposure, let him walk out of frame so we get a little bit of a silhouette and then he leaves the frame. Um, let's try a different angle. All right, I'm gonna shoot it now and you'll hear it click right now and light him and get out of there. I don't know if it'll be enough light, honestly. Get out of here! <laughs> no! ah, ruin! <laughs> that might have been exactly what I wanted. Yeah. We should have sabotaged Josh. We should have like killed his battery or something. All right, we got the Christmas Village here in Bryan Park. So we'll see if it inspires anything. I know there's a skating rink, so maybe something will happen there. Okay, so a quick aside. I'm shooting on the Olympus OMD EM52. Josh is shooting on the same camera, except his is silver because he sucks. Um, I am shooting the 12 to 40 Pro Lens Zoom. Uh, it's an f2.8 across the board, and that's pretty much it. I have spare batteries in my bag, I have spare memory card. Sam's got my prime lens on this GH4 in case I need it. Off we go. All right, we're here at the ice skating rink in Bryan Park. I figure there's a lot of motion here, so hopefully we can figure out something really cool, making someone disappear with some static objects. Hey, hey! Oh my God, it's our <laughs> skating rink. They cannot do that. Well, we did it. We done did it. Well, clearly this is unoriginal, and we're both horrible. <laughs> That's a fact. Nice recon, skating rink. 
problem we're having is no one here really knows how to skate, so no one's actually moving, which is not making anything very interesting. And that's when the stabilization system on this camera really shows it's pretty good. I think I'm going for too long. This is a four second exposure. All right, let's see what it looks like. It's okay. All right, let's move on. Okay. This is totally whatever. Let's move on. I always really like shooting food carts at night because it's a natural source of light. So people walking by it, they're going to be lit up by that food cart. So now I need to find a place to lean. Now the good thing about this camera is I could probably hand hold down to a second. So I'm going to try a handheld shot at around a second and see if I can get anything. All right, so we're going to Macy's because I hate myself. <laughs> oh, disappearing. Josh likes to do this sneaky move where he does something like this. But I don't know if that really works. So while I was shooting this, it actually gave me an idea, which is just racking everything out of focus. So we sort of get the colors of the scene, but we can't really tell what it is, and it disappears into sort of an abstract. We'll see how that turns out. I feel like this is the sort of place we'll get kicked out of. Uh, if we're too conspicuous, so keep it on the DL. People moving spot, long exposure. All right, so what I'm doing, I threw the lens into manual focus and I'm just getting sort of this background bokeh blur. It's pretty cool, but for the scene to actually be anything, I need some sort of recognizable object, whether it's a car passing through the shot or a person in the foreground, a silhouette. I need something to make it interesting. Disappeared head. Just looking. Just so you know, Macy's has a, a policy about photos. Okay, cool. Thank you. How's Macy's gonna have a no photo policy? It's like the biggest tourist destination in New York. Yeah. All right, so we're playing with a zoom lens now and we're gonna do a zoom effect. We got all these people in Times Square who like to ask people for money. So I'm gonna stand at a distance so they don't hit us up for money and try to do this isolating zoom thing. B roll of me shopping. <laughs> shopping instead of doing mm, well, what? deals like this don't come around every day. That is a fact. Okay, whatever. I guess I can come back. All right. Let's take a picture of someone else's picture. So I'm going to win this challenge. Hold on one second. So Eliza is going to be in this shot. So we won't have video of it, but we'll have the photo. She's going to get in the picture and uh, he's going to just, just Elmo. Uh, no, no, just Elmo. Um, she's gonna get in the picture and Elmo's gonna disappear and turn back into a person. So let's see what happens. Mm, let's go. The security guards are looking at us. The foot that's not there. Well, I don't know. I hope Josh didn't do a bunch of fancy like technique stuff. All right, so I'm gonna try to do this flash thing. I'm gonna do like a rear flash, so hopefully we can get Eliza in the shot and then out of the shot. He probably did though. And go. That's pretty cool. There's a bunch of them. Could do a whole series. All right. So, three, two, one, run. Kind of cool. Yeah, I think we did good. Now I hope we can disappear some pizza into my mouth. Hungry. Hungry. Mm, I'm waiting for smoke. That's not coming. I got a few. Okay, so the time has come and gone, and we are done. So let's wrap it up, meet up with Allison, and see where she landed. Let's stop this annoying buzzer. Time's up. Time's up. No more Time's up. I think we got. I think we got a lot of good stuff. I think we got some good shots. Um, we won't know until we see what Josh has. I'm a little worried because he's pretty good, but um, him. 
So we're gonna send our selects over to Jay and see what he picks as the winner. Josh, Allison, very nice work on the first challenge. However, since you both submitted seven pictures instead of five, I felt that it would only be fair if I disqualified three each. So this is what we're left with. Josh, hot dog cart, nice defocused lights, contemplative man, and Allison with your Grace Plaza, footless model, headless model, model models. So your challenge was disappearing and you both did a really nice job of mixing photographic techniques and also the theme of disappearing. I'd say that overall I think Josh is the winner because I think you took a bunch of really nice pictures. I particularly like your hot dog shot. I think the technique here is excellent and the streaking lights are really beautiful. I also really like that you gave me the only color shot and I think that these defocus lights are beautiful. Now Allison, I think that you had the best single photo. So this is my favorite photo of the bunch. I can't necessarily explain why this one is my favorite over say this, but I also really like what you did with the theme here. So Allison, you are the single photo winner and Josh, you are the challenge winner. Really nice job on the challenge, guys. See you again next time. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel if you like the video. Let us know if you like this new segment, otherwise we will never do it again. We'll, we'll keep drinking the beer, though. Right. Please comment, <laughs> though. Um, let us know what you guys think of the pictures and which ones are your favorite and who you think won this challenge. But All also right. subscribe. 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 Ooh, ooh, ooh.